Hi, today in the kitchen we're going to be making a salmon dish with some sautéed spinach and shiitake mushrooms. So it's a great dish. We're going to get started. It's quick and easy and it's a great um, meal. You can throw it together really quick and have this lovely meal but you haven't had to spend a lot of time in your kitchen which is all what we want. So I'm going to take my salmon fillets that I have. They're um, already filleted their skin on the bottom, so that's going to give us a nice um, crispy crunch too. Um, we're going to take our southern bake and pull out our packet, like I said, and we have um, two packets in here so we can have two meals with our one box. We're going to place this in the baggie that comes with it. Empty this in, and then we're just going to take our salmon fillets and one at a time, and we're going to give them a toss in our bag until they're nice and um, until they're coated well. So we'll just give that a toss and I kind of like to just kind of press my breader into it. And then we're going to place this on our foil lined baking sheet and we're going to bake this at 400 degrees for about five minutes depending on how um, cooked you like your salmon. Some people like it cooked medium, some like it medium well, some like it medium rare. So it depends. Um, and it also depends on the thickness of your, your salmon. So we're going to bake this five to ten minutes until it's nice and um, cooked throughout. Then while that is cooking, we're going to go ahead and make our shiitake and spinach mixture here. I have some oil in my pan and I'm going to use about two sca um, scallions. And these um, scallions is a mixture of onion and garlic. So it's a great mixture. It has a great flavor to it. And we're just going to saute that up and then we're going to take our shiitake mushrooms. My kids grow shiitake mushrooms so we do a lot with mushrooms at our house. Um, so we're going to place those in there. They're going to add a nice earthy flavor to your um, to this dish. And as they cook they're going to what they call sweat. And so they're going to cook down a little bit and absorb all these great flavors from the scallions. And you're going to cook those for about five minutes or so until they start to sweat and you'll see some moisture in the pan. And then if you want, I like to cook mine without it, but you can also add in some heavy cream into here if you want to make it a little bit more of a rich creamy sauce. I like mine more of a fresh. So I'll have some different options. If you write in for the recipe, I'll have different options for you. So we're going to saute that and then we're going to add in a little fresh thyme and then some spinach leaves. And these are just baby spinach leaves. And this will add some great color to your dish. You don't want to cook these until they're so wilted that you can't really tell what they are. I just like to toss mine around in my pan and they will begin to wilt and mix in with those great shiitakes and it will be a great um, mixture. So by the time this is finished, your fish should be able to come out and you're ready to serve. So what I do is I just, to plate mine, I just put some of my shiitake and spinach mixture on the bottom, then just place my filet of fish on top and it is a great, beautiful presentation just like you get in the restaurants but in the privacy of your own home. So I hope you enjoy this and I look forward to seeing you next time.